Welcome to Pabli Connect. So today's tutorial is about sending daily emails automatically. Do you find yourself sending similar kind of emails daily or weekly? Perhaps you're a business owner who needs to send newsletters or updates to clients or you are just a teacher who wants to send reminders to your students. Whatever your situation may be, manually sending emails can be really time taking and tedious. And that's why we are here to show you a powerful automation to send emails daily and automatically. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding, saving your time and manual efforts. So without any further ado, let's begin. So before setting up this automation, you need to create a spreadsheet in which you have to fill these details, the recipient's email addresses, the recipient's name, the sender's name, and you can add some more details like the subject as well. Or if you are sending any attachments, you can add the attachment links also here. Okay. So this is, this is the raw material by which we are going to curate the emails and send those emails automatically. Okay. So after adding the recipient email addresses, names and the sender's name, you have to come to the landing page of Pabli Connect. Okay, this is an integration and automation tool. So from here, you can sign up for free and create your workflows using the free tasks you get after signing up. Okay, so I am going to paste this link in the description so that you can sign up right now and continue with me and learn your first automation. To signing up, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Okay. And from this dashboard, you can click on this create workflow button to set up your automation workflow. Here you can give any suitable name to this workflow like this and then click on create and the workflow page will load up like this. And here you will find the basic building blocks of the workflow, which are the trigger and the action. So if you want to know what are trigger and actions, you can watch the video from the description and learn it. And after setting up the workflow, the workflow is going to look like this. Here I have already set up a workflow and here in the trigger, you can see I have used schedule by Pavli feature of Pavli Connect. So here in our use case, guys, I am adding the details of the recipients and the sender's name daily in this spreadsheet. And I want that the workflow should check this spreadsheet daily and send the emails to the people I am adding here in the rows. Okay. So let's say, for example, I have added this person right now. So I want that tomorrow this workflow should run and send the email to this person automatically. Okay. So for that, I have scheduled the workflow to run every day at this time. Okay. That is going to trigger. And in the action, I have used a feature which is called number formatter by Pabli. And here in the action event, I have used counter. So guys, counter is going to start counting numbers from an initial value. Okay. And here the initial value I have provided is one and the operation is increment and the value is going to be changed by one only as I have put one here. That means it will start counting from one and incremented by one, that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. That's how it is going to count and give you the final values. So the initial value was one, the final value is two. Okay. So what we are going to do with these values, we are going to fetch the data using these values from the rows we have in this spreadsheet. You can see here, all the rows are numbered. Okay. So with the help of the numbers from the counter, we are going to get the details of the rows corresponding to the numbers we have in the counter. Okay. That's we have applied the counter here. After that, in the action step, I have connected with Google Sheets. Okay. If you want to know how to make these connections, I'm going to paste the video in the description. You can watch it in detail. Okay. After select connecting the spreadsheet, I have selected the spreadsheet's name, the sheet's name, and here I have added the range from where I want to fetch the details. Okay. So to put the range, let me show you from scratch. 
here the range will appear the range field will appear like this blank okay now to get the data from a specific row here you can see when i am selecting this first row let me select this first row here you can see in the name box it started showing a2 colon c2 this means that we have the data starting from column a row number two and it is ending at column c row number two okay so this is the range so that's how we have to put the range here so you have to put the range put capital a and put two okay because the data is going to start from column a and row number two or three or four okay so you have to put the range as column a now to put the value of row number i am going to use the previous counter step okay so in the counter you will get the final value 2 if you start counting from 1 now i am going to map this final value here in this range to map that value you just have to click here and from this last number format step map the final value then put a colon and here you can see in the spreadsheet the last column is c column so put column c here and to uh, put the value of the row use the number formatter only and map it okay so this is how you can provide the range so when you map the values here every time when this workflow is going to execute the value of the counter will change and new data will be fetched from the new row or the next row okay that's why we have mapped the, the thing here and after mapping the thing when you click on save and send test request button this is how the data will appear here so here you can see it started showing the recipient's email label here you can see the email this is the same email that i had here here you can see the recipient's name demo name this is coming from here and the sender's name is dummy sender and this is coming from here that's how we can fetch the details after that in another action step i have connected with gmail okay so connection is similar with google sheets okay and after getting connected here you can see i have used the action event as send email and here it will show you these fields the recipient's email address field so here we are going to map the email address of the recipients from the previous step here okay here we got the data now we can map these labels in this step to send an email so to map the details you just have to click here and from this last step map the recipient's address if you want to put someone in cc or bcc you can put it here in the sender's name you just have to click here and find the sender name label and map it here you can provide a subject i have put it here reminder you can put any subject you want okay here I have selected the email's content type as plain, okay, and here I have written this simple email. So you can read, hi, I'm sure your schedule is very busy. So this email is simply to remind you of your upcoming interview. So this is an interview reminder email. I have used an example. You can type the email as you want. And in this email also, I have mapped the, few, mapped the labels from the previous step, like the name of the recipient to whom I'm addressing okay and the sender's name so how i have mapped it similarly uh, as i have done before from the last step just click on the recipient name and it will be mapped here similarly you can map the sender's name and this uh, value these values will be added in the email every time this workflow is going to execute the names will change according to the data that you have filled here and the new emails with this these new details will be sent automatically okay after that you can check your connection with gmail by clicking on save and send test request and the email will be sent let me show you uh, again how the email is going to look like so this is my email account and i have uh, entered the address here in the recipient field okay and here i am clicking on save and send test request button so this is the response we have received here and here you can see i have received a new email from dummy sender you can see this is the same sender name i have added here okay and you can see the subject reminder that's what i have added here you can see and you can see the email now hi demo name this is the recipient's name you can see okay 
I'm sure your schedule is very busy, so this email is to simply remind you of your upcoming interview, who is a candidate, please let me know. And here you can see the, uh, here after best, it is showing dummy sender. This is the sender name that I have mapped here in the email. So this is how it is going to work, guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the ratepabli.com. You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link. And you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.